Hello beautiful ones, welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's thrilling installment of Joseph Makes Skincare, we're asking the question, can we really mix oil and water together without the need of a separate emulsifier? Yeah, we can. <laughs> Using my special folding technique, uh, technique rather technique, what's a technique? <laughs> if that's how today's tutorial is gonna go, give up now. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, yeah, so I have developed this technique which re requires no separate emulsifier, guys. All you'll need is xanthan gum or some other form of gum. Guar gum could work. Um, glycerin to wet the powdered gum with and then your oil of choice and a little bit of water. And you can mix oil and water till your heart's content, beautiful ones. If that sounds like something you're interested in finding out how to do, keep watching. Before we continue, guys, sorry, I've got a bit of fluff on my shirt. <laughs> um, before we continue, guys, just look at my skin. And I've been using nothing but the uh, soya serum. And there's nothing in there apart from 15 capsules of soya, isoflavones and water and a little bit of preservative. But I think my skin's looking quite good. And there's nothing. I've just had a, a wash and a bath this morning. Um, I'm one of the cleanest men in England, I'll have you know, beautiful ones. I'm always in the bath and always washing my face and doing demos for you beautiful ones at home. You have to be clean anyway. But um as you can see, it's it's just retexturizing my skin as well, but it's doing it in a, in a non-acidic way. It's doing it in a totally different, far, far, far more gentle manner. Um, and if you want to find out how to make soy serum, I'll link it into the description of this video. Do forgive me, guys, shooting off on tangents, talking about my bloody skin all the time. Well, it does look quite good, though, doesn't it? Anyway, right. Yep. Yeah. So we couldn't get anything more diametrically opposed than something like olive oil and water could be beautiful ones. And I'm just going to put these over here because I don't want them to. You all know how clumsy I am and I'll end up with a bloody lap full of olive oil. Um, traditionally, to combine the two, we've always required some form of emulsifier, um, something like polysorbate 80, 60, 20 or 40, or emulsifying wax that can combine or blend the two perfectly well together. However, it, it does call for the incorporation of yet another chemical. And, and on my channel, I, I prefer clean skincare. And I'm always looking for ways of how to um, bypass or, or solve problems which exist within the cosmetic industry anyway, but in a much more, much more natural way and also a far more economical way. Um, I mean, my little pot of, of xanthan gum, I think it was £1.99 and there's 100 grams in there. And my little bottle of glycerin as well was 39 pence, something like that. And that's all you need, guys. Um, and obviously a little drop of um, the old water, drop of tap water. Oh, by the way, guys, I found a great, I knew I had it in my flat somewhere, but I found a great big bottle of deionized water last night. So I might be using that or I might just carry on using tap water. In order for emulsifiers to work, guys, what they actually do is they change the nature of the oil themselves so that then they can interact and then mix very well with the water or mix more easily with the water. However, the alteration of the oil can affect its properties and its composition vastly, guys. Um, whereas my technique, my folding technique, we don't change the oil at all. All we're doing is we're making the oil into, think of it as being billions and billions of little droplets of the oil that then can pass through your pores into your skin, where they'll there, when they'll well there, where they'll then exact their um their their properties and uh, that you know be able to nourish your skin. Um, or, or give your skin the anti-aging properties of many, many oils. Um, so <clears throat> we have that, first of all, we have the fact that it's cheap and economical, environmentally sound. We also keep the properties of the oil intact. There was a fourth benefit to using my folding technique, but it's gone, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I can't remember what it was. It will come back to me eventually. But um, And if I remember it during this um, this preamble or this me talking incessantly then I will I'll obviously add it in but um certainly for me guys the fact that um you know by using my folding technique we're eliminating the need for uh, additional emulsifiers or surfactants or anything which will allow us to blend water and oil together in a cosmetic formulation um you know we're, we're eliminating that need totally and also as I said this is far more natural too and it's far more cost effective so without any further ado I'll show you my little technique and um, we'll talk afterwards about how to use this when to use this technique more importantly and um, here's the tutorial beautiful ones see you in a minute so guys you'll need a bottle of oil of your choice some xanthan gum or guar gum a bottle of glycerin or monopropylene glycol a jug with some water in a mixing bowl a teaspoon and a tablespoon and the obligatory piece of tissue paper 
To take your xanthan gum and your mixing bowl and your teaspoon and that piece of tissue too in case things get messy So into your mixing bowl you need to add one half heaped tablespoon of the xanthan gum and it's important to go in with the powder first guys so if you went in with the glycerin first things would get really messy so always go in with your powders first now to the powder we're going to add two teaspoonfuls of glycerin that's one that's two just give them a quick blend together and this is making the slurry guys and this this step avoids any lumps later on So add four tablespoonfuls of water. And just stir those together, guys. Now I didn't speed this bit up because I wanted you to see how well the, for the gel forming of this um, recipe is. In a minute that will turn into a gorgeous gel really thick and gloopy and the thicker it is guys the more oil it could uh, it holds basically and what we're going to do later is just fold our oil into this gel we've just made and you can use any oil you want guys grapeseed oil sunflower oil almond oil any oil basically and that's without the need of a separate emulsifier As you can see, that's really starting to thicken up now, guys, which is what you want. Wow, look at that, it looks gorgeous. So, <clears throat> go in with the olive oil now, guys, or oil of your choice. I'm gonna be doing a recipe on bakuchiol soon, and that's an oil, so I'll be using this method. It's a retinol alternative. So we're gonna add one tablespoonful of olive oil Pop it in, that's it. Now start folding, guys. The formulation will start off quite slippery, first of all, guys, but the more you keep folding in the oil, the the more blended it will become. And you'll notice at one point, at one stage, that the um, the, rest, the formula starts to stick to the sides of the bowl and that's when you know your oil is totally blended with the water in the gel. And as I said, doing it this way, we just eliminate the need for unnecessary uh, emulsifiers, chemicals. This is a totally natural recipe, guys. Developed by yours truly. <laughs> And we can make so many other recipes just using this technique now, guys. As I said, one of my upcoming tutorials will be on Bakuchio. And that's an oil, and I'll be using this method to, um, to make a gel with, or a serum. And you can actually make serums with this too, just add more water once you've, once you've got to this stage. Then you know that oil and uh, water have blended well together. You can really thin it down then with water, and the, um, the xanthan gum will still hold on to the oil. Nearly there, guys. If you guys can think of any other oils which would go nicely in this formula, please let me know in the comments. And similarly, if you're going to make this recipe or any of you have made any of my other recipes, I'd love to hear from you gorgeous ones. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.
you won't believe what's just happened guys i've just gone and dropped an entire pot of oil and water using my folding technique on my carpet so now i'm thinking of changing the name of this channel from joseph makes skincare to joseph drops skincare how does that sound <laughs> seriously though beautiful ones why does it always happen to me i'm baffled totally baffled i've done nothing wrong <laughs> anyway so that's how to combine oil and water using my unique uh, folding technique which is um it's clean F uh, sorry it's a clean method it's it's a cheaper method and also i remembered the other point you know i said there were four benefits it's ease it's such an easy thing to do rather than having to you know use emulsifying wax or polysorbates um and so on it's just so so easy to do and the benefits are just incredible guys um because we are keeping the molecule of oil intact without disrupting its um its composition so you're getting all the benefits of the oil in its pure form basically and we're also um getting it cheaper we're getting it a cleaner but my folding technique can be used with any oil, guys, and any liquid, which is water-based. And we can combine the two without need. You've heard me say that a million times already today, beautiful ones. Um, and so, um, for example, I mean, there are two different forms of vitamin C. There's the fat-soluble form of vitamin C, which could be dissolved in oil. And then you could make the water part of the um, the recipe with ascorbic acid, which is water-soluble. And you know combine those two and um and, and that, that way you'd protect the water parts of your skin cell and the fat soluble parts or the fat parts of the skin cell too because it's obviously made up of um water and fat but an upcoming tutorial i'll be doing next week at uh, some time or this week because today's monday anyway uh, um, is a bacuchio which is a natural alternative to retinol it comes from the um i can't remember the babchi plant is anyone does anyone ever has anyone ever heard of babchi i'll write the latin name down here it's prosolaria pres something i can't remember exactly but it's what solarins used to be made of and solarins are those um active ingredients which help to um give you they used to be in the sunscreens in the 1950s although they've been banned everywhere now because they make your skin so so sensitive to sunlight that even five minutes out in the sunshine and you'll burn and the skin will start for i mean they ban them because people's skin was just falling off in great big lumps which is just horrible but <laughs> i'm digressing again yeah um Bicuchio is a is a compound from the same seeds that Solarins is made from, basically, and it's very very popular at the moment as a as a as a natural or plant alternative to retinol because it's just so gentle and yet it it activates the same receptors in the skin which retinol. I won't bore you with the science, guys, but um, yeah, so and that's an oil. That's an oil too. So I'll be using that technique to make a Bicuchio gel or Bicuchio serum or something, but that'll be coming later. But again, sadly, that's it for today, gorgeous ones. It's been lovely being with you for a good hour or so today. And before I dash off, I just want to tell you about a giveaway which is coming up. And I'm going to be giving away this gorgeous, um, it's a, what would you call it really? It's a, a well-being kit. There's a candle, there's some oil, there's some bath salts and soap and loads and loads of stuff in here. It's all natural. And if, if you want to find out what the um, who the company is, it's um, it's all written there. It's called chica so if you want to um find out you know as i said exactly what's in this box then you know just go online and have a look but i'll be giving this away possibly um in a couple of weeks time it smells oh it smells gorgeous guys and i i just don't want it i haven't touched any of the of any of the products inside there guys but um i'll be giving this away as i say in a couple of weeks time so if that's something you you people want to get your hands on just keep watching. Excuse me, I need to lean over here and put that because I don't want to damage any of it because I don't know how much it's worth. But um, it was gifted to me. And as I said, I just don't want it. And I've I've opened it a couple of times, but I certainly haven't touched any of the contents inside. But um, right, waffling. OK, I better go now, guys. Uh, thank you so, so much for being with me today and watching. Um, if you like today's video, give this a video a thumbs up. No, we don't do that up there. It's down here now, isn't it? It's either there or there, my subscribe icon. And um, please subscribe if you want to be kept abreast when I'm uploading new videos. And all that remains is for me to wish you guys a gorgeous week. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Lots of love. Take care. See you. Bye.